Hi, this is Alan from Park Dive, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Tiny 11 for Windows 11. Now, what is Tiny 11? Well, basically, Tiny 11 is a modified ISO or version of Windows 11 that allows Windows 11 to be installed on computers that actually does not meet the minimum requirements, such as secure boot, TPM 2.0, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a lot more other requirements that Microsoft needs for you to be able to install Windows 11. With Tiny 11, you can just install it straight up without even worrying about Microsoft accounts and whatsoever. So with all that said, I'm going to show you how you can download it, install it, and I'm going to hop onto my desktop right now. So, all right, we're currently at my desktop. And as you can see, I already have the ISO file, but how do you get the ISO file? First of all, this is the official website of download for the Tiny 11 ISO, which is on the description down below or on my article, which is at hotdev.com. So right here, archive.org slash detail slash tiny dash 11 dash NT dev is the exact link if you just want to type it out and you just want to go and scroll down here. And as you can see, there are download options. The first thing here is the ISO image, click the drop down arrow. And as you can see, there's four version as of recording this video. We got a 22H2 beta one, a 22H2 beta two, no system requirements. And this is what you're going to want. And then the 22H2 beta two, 22H2 R1. So just to repeat, what is Tiny 11? Tiny 11 is a Windows 11 light version that basically strips down Windows 11 to just the things you would actually need on a normal use case of Windows. So with all that said, click on this one, the no system requirement, and then you're going to get this file right here. You're probably wondering how you can install Windows Tiny 11 on your computer. Well, the first thing that you would need is an application called Rufus. So let's just type that on our web browser, click on Rufus dash official website, the first one, scroll down, and I'm just going to go and click on Rufus 4.1 P. P stands for portable. And I'm just going to go and save it over at my desktop. Once that is saved, we can run it. I'm just going to press no. And from here, as you can see, I have no device plugged in. All my USB drives are populated right now. So we're not going to be doing the step. I'm just showing to you how you can do it. Okay. I got one, a USB drive. So right here, again, you just want to click on select, click on the ISO file. You want to go and click on the partition, make sure it is GPT, UAFI, and just keep basically everything ready. Now, if we press on start, we can go and customize it on what we want. As you can see right here, we can remove the requirement for four gigabytes of RAM, secure boot and TPM 2.0. As I stated earlier, we can remove the requirement for an online Microsoft account, which is a big lifesaver, especially if you want everything to be localized on your system. You can create your own username right from this without even having to fiddle around on the Windows installation protocols like the continuous settings. And then right here, you can also just disable BitLocker data collection and basically set the same regional option as what you have in your current computer that you are using to create this Tiny11 installer. So once that's done, you just want to press on OK and press on Start. But as for me, I'm not going to be installing it this way. So let me just play a quick clip of how you would actually install it to your computer. So basically you plug in the USB drive to your computer. And then once that is plugged in, you just want to restart your computer. And while it is restarting or starting up, you want to press the boot menu key on your keyboard. Usually it is one of these four, the F2, the F10, the F12, and the delete button on your keyboard. Just smash those up and the boot menu would pop up depending on your motherboard. And then once the boot menu pop up, just select the USB drive that you are using. And then from there, you just want to proceed in a normal, more shortcut version of installing your Windows machine. And boom, that is it. You got Tiny11 installed to your Windows machine. So this is Tiny11 right now. And of course, as for my side, it is only installed on a virtual machine. But as you can see, um, 
if I go into win or right here, win burr, it is on Windows 11, 22H2, 22621.1194. In comparison, the latest version of Windows right now that is, you know, normal from Windows is actually 22621 also, but 1928. So just a marginal difference between the difference on the actual Tiny 11 beta version of the latest 22H2 version of Windows, but pretty much the same. So as you can see, I didn't have to create an account, use a Microsoft online account. Uh, although I did use a lot of memory for this virtual machine, I didn't have to. I can just install it on a two gigabyte machine. And yeah, as you can see, look at the page pull right now. There's barely any consumption in the memory, although it's using 1.5, I know, but you can run it in a two gigabyte RAM machine. As you can see as well, uh, this is my CPU, of course, but look at the utilization and look at the amount of processes. I know there isn't any apps opened, but just a simple comparison right now, if I go over into my actual machine, I am using 202 processes with just a few more apps open, such as Steam, Discord, Epic, and the OBS that you are watching this from. That's basically it, but I have 200 more processes and I'm handling around 107 handles on 4,000 threads. This is running on 1,000 threads and handling about 40,000. The difference is just so much. Anyway, that is basically Tiny11. And furthermore, that I can show you that it is on Tiny11, not just any default. If you actually go and press on the start menu, look at all the apps. Look at all the apps. Those are literally the only apps you get. You got the calculator, camera, file explorer, the Microsoft store, the notepad, the paint, the photos, the setting snipping tool, sticky notes. That's it. On the actual Windows machine, when you install it the first time, there are so many more applications, so many more bloatwares. And that is what Tiny11 caters to the simplicity of just the Windows 11 itself. Stripped down version, and they have disabled services too that doesn't have to automatically start. They basically just optimize Windows 11 for you. Anyway, that is it for me. Again, this is Alan Avila from Hawkdive. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next Hawkdive video. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share this with your friends so they can actually test out this machine because this is also a tutorial of how to install it, of course as have you have seen earlier and um yeah comment down in the comment section below if you have any questions and have a nice day